one of the strangest things about this particular war is that despite the fact that so many hundreds of thousands of people were killed, no bodies were ever brought back to this country. There were just too many of them, and too many that couldn't be identified. So there were no graves. But people needed somewhere that they could go to mourn. They needed somewhere that they could put their feelings. On the 7th of November 1920, they dug up an anonymous body from one of the battlefields of France and brought it back to cross the channel to Westminster Abbey. It was buried under a marble slab. It said that this unknown soldier was unknown in both rank and name. The one body that was going to stand in for all the rest. In the first week, nearly 1.3 million people went there to pay their respects. Now that meant that when the Great Western Railway Company decided to put up their memorial to all the company employees who'd been killed in the First War, here on Platform 1 at Paddington Station, everybody would have known who that statue was. It was the Unknown Soldier. When the company first commissioned the statue, the original idea was that the soldier would be standing at ground level, here on the platform. So he would be right in the middle of all the commuters, as if he, he too was waiting for a train. But then they decided that would be too much. It would be like having one of the dead amongst the living. And so they moved him up onto his plinth here against the wall. It was a sieve. They wanted people to remember, but not to remember too much. <laughs>